I'm heading towards the city of Asen for an appointment, or as it's commonly now known, Sensor City. And I'm going there because the city of Asen has embarked on a very special and unique traffic management research study involving the very latest highly intelligent sensor technology. And the early indications are that the results will be quite revolutionary. So why don't you join me and we'll find out a little bit more. also travel to the city center by public transport. Do you wish to do so? No, thank you. This is my onboard unit, my GPS or GSM, and it's given me a choice as to whether to park on the outskirts of town and take public transport in, which in itself is a very good suggestion, or take the car. Today, I'll take the car. Now, my GPS indicates the best possible route into town for right now. And it's the right now bit which is crucial because driving conditions constantly change and in an hour's time, the best possible route in might be a different way. So, how is this possible? Well, there are over 200 sensor posts in and around the city of Asen which record the current traffic situations every second and combine that with signals from existing sensors like road loop sensors, GPS, GSM, Then the data is interpreted by a computer and based on its results, it can predict, for example, the most efficient way to circulate traffic around the city every 15 minutes, which is great for me because I get to my destination using the best possible route. And all of the route advice takes into consideration things like when the schools get out or if there's a big event happening in the area, or most importantly, when and where there are roadworks in progress. Your destination will be reached within 15 minutes. Shall I book a parking place for you in advance? I can even reserve a parking space. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I don't waste a lot of time searching for one when I get there. Look, that traffic light knows I'm coming and has changed to green. In fact, all of the traffic lights are connected and linked in real time to the entire sensor network. Gone is the standard green wave system, and in its place, this new system, which enables traffic lights to adapt to traffic flows at any given moment. So, faster traffic flows throughout the city and fewer drivers running red lights. Now, we're getting very near to the parking space that I reserved earlier on. So, with this system, fewer drivers are searching for a place to park, and the knock-on effect is there's a reduction in congestion and CO2 emissions. But there's a dramatic improvement in road safety because a lot of accidents occur as drivers are searching for a place to park. OK, here it is. Now, the sensors have recognised my car and guided me directly to the parking space that I reserved earlier on. There we go. Now, I'm going to be returning shortly, and payment will be taken automatically. And I'm only going to pay for the exact amount of time that I've spent parking here. So, traffic management using sensor technology. Now, a study of this magnitude is the first of its kind, and it's happening right here in Assen until 2012. In fact, some 2,000 drivers are participating in testing the system against the experts' predicted results. And these results so far would suggest an improvement in traffic flow efficiency of 25%. 20% reduction in CO2 emissions, 50% fewer drivers searching for a parking place, an overwhelming increase in the use of public transport, vital contributions to road safety. But it's not all about motability. In fact, the Sensor City system also has sensors that can measure sound and air quality. And in the future, it's this sensor technology that may help to improve the city's complete living environment. Smart thinking, isn't it? And it's all thanks to Sensor City.